while hands slowly glide along the shelves. Fingers grip my binding and pull me down. A selection has been made. I'm so excited for what this reader is about to experience inside my walls. A mystery, an adventure, motivation, only time will tell. Ah, so you figured out the mystery. I'm talking about a book. Now, this could be any book, but if the reader is Courtney Carlyle, it will be a book based in the 1800s and full of proper romance. All of us at some point in our lives have had the opportunity to go to the library and pick out a book, whether for a book report, for church, for an activity, for fun reading, or what have you. Today I want to tell you why I am like a book, from the cover to the preface to the inside pages. As we begin, I'm going to tell you why I'm like the preface, or how you can get to know me better through the preface if I were a book. Just like books, I can often be judged by my cover. Blonde, 5'6", athletic build, an overly excited smile oftentimes confuse people or give them assumptions about me that aren't true. As you read my preface, you will come to know the true me. You will learn that I am witty, have the personality of a 45-year-old woman, and my best friend was graduating the year I was in kindergarten. I am always excited about agriculture, or to talk about rodeo, or to talk about books. As you go throughout my story, if I were a book, you would find that I am 20, married to the love of my life, living in Redmond, Utah, and born and raised in Arches and National Parks land of Moab. You will continue reading and learn so much about me as you go throughout these next chapters. As we read these chapters, I'm going to introduce you to me and what my chapters would tell you. In chapter one, you would learn that I loved high school. During high school, I competed in high school rodeo, roped, rode, ran barrels, tied goats, and queened. After I did all the high school rodeo events, I would usually be found at an FFA activity or at a sporting event. Going on to chapter two, you'll watch me graduate, become the Utah FFA president, and be a supporter of all things agriculture. In chapter three, I will move on to go to school at Utah State University in Logan, meet my now husband, enjoy the life of college, and move out of Logan. In chapter four, I will spend my days as a ranch wife, married to the love of my life, chasing cows every day, cleaning, cooking, doing laundry, and going to bed exhausted. And just like every good book, you have to put the book down at the end of the day, but don't forget that these chapters still continue, and if you want to learn more, you just have to pick the book back up. Wow, what a riveting read that was. As you finish and put your book down for the day, you can conclude what you've learned and how you've learned that Courtney Carlyle is just like a book. From, her, from the preface to the inside pages, you learned all about her. Now, not only is she like a book, but we all can be like a book with our own story to, to tell and our own adventures to go on. Someday, I hope that somebody will per be perusing the library walls, ready to pick a book with your name on it. Will it be an adventure, a mystery, motivation? Whatever it may be, it will be your story to tell. Lucky for me, my book was selected by you, and you got to see who I am and what my story holds. But it's not over there. The story continues on. And for me, I guess it's going to have to be a mystery.